Expats stay out of politics if living in the Philippines. Is it strongly advised? The answer is yes. Um, I talk about politics, but I try to stay a little bit out of the loop as such. Um, although we're talking about Rojas um, and the other candidates, such as Duterte, I try to just say it as it is. It's not stuff that's difficult to understand. I'm not sitting here going, Duterte, which is obviously being more one-sided. Um, do I think that there is likely to be some serious changes in the Philippines coming up? Yes, I do. Uh, win or lose, there is going to be something happen. I know a lot of people are saying, well, well, if the, it becomes rigged and the dirty doesn't win, um, there will just be like a quiet protest. I don't think so, not this time round. It's not the same type of character. Um, he's quite a strong character, but also I think he's got the support of other groups. Um, so we'll just leave that as it, as it is. But what's interesting is you get threats from people that are obviously the type of people that the Philippines is trying to change. People that will send you threatening messages in the hope that you'll be scared off. Um, I've come across this over the years anyway. There was something relating to Airsoft where a governor's son was accused of something relating to, um, shall we call them, girls working in an evening uh, entertainment industry. And the guy that had wrote the article had obviously got all the information, cause, but he was a bit bitter about being pushed out of the Airsoft Association. So he'd put it within the internet. And they got him to retract it within, I think, about 24 or 48 hours. And they were there going around anywhere they could find the internet that it still existed to try and get the information off. Um, I still have the article somewhere. I, I just marked it as private. But that's an example. They will chase you around the web. Now, the interesting thing is, I haven't said anything about political allegiance because I have no political allegiance to anybody. Um, even in the UK, I do not support any political party because I see them all as the same shade as grey. Um, they all go to school together, their kids go to school together, and they're all part and parcel of the same problem. The, the Philippines has many issues within it. The thing I'm discussing is, is if Duterte does take power, there will be a, a shift in politics. But also, I don't think it's going to be as swift and easy as people assume, because it's a bit like um, if Trump gets in in the US, although he'll be a destabilizing force, it's very hard to get things through the Senate if you're operating alone. Um, this is the whole problem with democracy, is it's not democratic. <laughs> what I mean is it's a voice of a few people, the Senate and the Parliament, um, they dictate what the rest of the world or country does. Um, normally with checks from, um, what do you call it, uh, lobbyists for large corporations, because that's where they get the funding for the parties, etc. So... It's not as democratic as people are told, and this is why there will be a shift in politics. But, uh, or may not, we'll wait and see. But the, the main thing here is, if you're an expat, don't get involved in politics directly. Don't wander around with a dirty t-shirt, or specifically say, I support, or even get too involved with rallies and things. Going to rallies can be risky. Um, there's a relative of ours where, I can't remember how close it was relationship-wise. I think it was his wife's brother or something. But he was shot dead at the rally after winning as a mayor. Um, there's an example. Um, politics can be quite risky. A friend of mine, Noel, was walking past a house when it was submachine gunned. Um, he was on the... Well, he was on the right side of the street, if I remember right, because they were shooting across the other side of the road. So it's a motorcycle pillion passenger with a machine gun. Um, well, Noel's walking on this footpath. The shooting happened to, happened opposite him. Um, so it's if he had been on the other side, it could have been a very different story. Um, so politically, just keep neutral. 
these aren't our politics anyway. Um, but the reason I like to keep things updated is because at the moment it's becoming a bit of a tinderbox. I don't think the Dirty's voters are going to be as quiet as people assume. Um, the fact that he has support of several of the militia groups or terrorist groups, depending on which side you fight on, um, there is literally thousands of armed supporters as well as the local um, support. I know some people have talked about, well, the generals will stop this or whatever. I would say just wait and see. There's generals that have tried to overthrow the government themselves, so I would just say sit and sit there and just watch watch the fireworks as we say um should it affect your travel to the philippines i would be cautious of some areas while this is ongoing the elections going on um but also they will be trying to destabilize the utopian image that deval currently has um so my personal view is i wouldn't travel to deval at the moment uh, just in case somebody does something really stupid um, to sort of destabilize the whole process but the the point being is as an expat you're a guest in the country and as such don't get yourself too involved yes it's nice to see things happening um, but will it happen to the the way we're thinking from for many people we'll wait and see um, politics is a very dirty game regardless of who you are or what you want to do it's why you find young politicians are all hyped up and going to change the world then they rely on party money to keep themselves afloat and it just fizzles out like a indoor firework because they end up towing the party line to keep this party money so you've got to look at it from the reality would there be an overthrow of the government in the Philippines? I don't think so. Um, I don't think there's that implication. I could see some problems with the election if there's any rigging going on. Um, but even then, who knows? So I just wanted to put that out there. If you're directly involved in politics, step back. You don't want to be associated with anybody politically, directly. Um, a lot of politicians like to hang around projects. You'll find that a lot of charity organizations suddenly get the, we support you um, because they want to be highlighted as doing something in the community, etc. Um, the funny thing is, I think it's actually illegal for the charity to be doing that. And it's not the charity is actually instigating it or even wanting it. It's more a case of being talked into it for funding or whatever. Um, but just be aware that for an expat, sidestep the politics. And I know I talk about it, but I'm talking it from the fact that people are still visiting the Philippines um, in the same way when people complain that the Philippines is all fluffy and nice and say, well, Matt, you can't say that people get murdered, etc. But it's true. It's not going to affect the tourism industry. What affected the tourism industry was the dynamite fishing, the cyanide fishing, the destroying of the coral reef, coral reef sorry, in the 70s. It's been ongoing. That reputation has affected a lot of the diving tourists. To improve that involves not ignoring it, but fixing it. Thanks for watching.